It's Friday night, how I'm longing for this day Yes, I'm single, oh, we want to mingle And my friends are on the way You got that good, good vibe I want to spend some time back here with you Welcome to a new daily vlog. I thought I'd bring you along today because it's going to be a pretty fun day. We are heading out of London to Banbury in Oxford, a bit of a road trip for a fabulous photo shoot. So we've been invited by a British couture bridal designer named Philippa Lepley to watch behind the scenes of her photo shoot. She is creating imagery for her, I believe it's their spring summer 2018 dresses. And do you know what? I can't say that I've ever really been behind the scenes of a photo shoot that's going to be this grand. So very excited to see how the pros do it. Obviously when Charlie and I do our shoots, it's just the two of us and our photographer. So it's going to be very, very I'm interesting to see behind the scenes. Yeah, getting changed <laughs> in uh, in cafe bathrooms, not so glamorous. But we are going to a fabulous property called Ainho Park, and it looks absolutely stunning. So it should be a fabulous, fabulous place for the shoot, perfect for bridal gown photography. And Charlie and I are also going to be shooting a few outfits as well. We have filled the car up with um, a few different outfits because we just have to make the most of this fabulous opportunity. We're just in traffic and we have two cars to the left of us and Charlie and I are pretty sure they are secret agents inside the cars. <laughs> they have very scary looking security with their like microphones and earpieces in. The guy in the back looks like someone you'd see in Muck Mafia. It's coming to life. So we're taking the CX-3 out for a nice long road trip today, stretching her legs. We've only done a few short journeys in London and just visiting our family homes out in Surrey. It's 65 miles to Banbury, so it's gonna be a nice long car journey. I have whacked on the heated seats because it is a very chilly January morning. Another thing we love about this car is the sat-nav. We just type in the postcode and it's so easy to see, easy to use. It's actually use. a good sat-nav, which most yeah. car, the inbuilt car, sat navs are a bit pants aren't they yeah the best thing is this heated steering wheel oh it sounds like that. sounds like quite a like random thing but i'd imagine oh lots of cars God. have them but it's genius when it's this cold darling i don't think the steering wheel is heated i think mm. it's this Josephine. oh <laughs> i stand corrected there is a heated steering wheel button yeah. so i haven't actually driven the car yet because i have not driven for about five years but mostly I am... for the safety of others yes mostly for the safety <laughs> of others but i am going to learn and i'm probably going to vlog um like refreshing my driving skills so let me know if that's something that you would like to see because this is such a small zippy not small but a good size car for living in the city i want to be able to just dash out if i want to go and get a facial or go shopping i want to be able to zip about in this car we had the cx5 previously which we absolutely love but I think for me, relearning to drive, this is a really good size city car. It's easier to park than the CX-5. Yeah. So I think for you, as someone that's not driven for a while, it will be slightly more enjoyable for you to drive this. Yeah. I think I'd feel more confident parking this as well because it's got the camera in the back of the car. So when you put the car into reverse, you can see behind you on the screen on the dashboard. So lots of technology that make it a lot easier and it would make me a lot more confident driving. at the beautiful house and Charlie and I have been shown up to this rather fabulous bedroom which is going to be our kind of base for the day. As I mentioned Charlie and I have got some stuff to shoot here and we're also getting some behind the scenes clips of Philippa Lepley's beautiful bridal photo shoot. We've just had a mini tour of the house as well. All of the rooms are different themes so there's seven main bedrooms up on this floor. This one that we're staying in is 
just absolutely gorgeous. You've got this big copper bathtub in the bedroom. I will show you a few more of the rooms as we go through them to shoot. I think with the bridal photo shoot, they're just changing the dress now, topping up the model's makeup, so I'll get some more clips when she's in dress number two. Shoot's been going on for a couple of hours now. This is the kind of behind the scenes area where everyone's getting ready. We are now fighting with the light. Obviously it's January, it gets dark at about half four, but luckily the room where they're shooting in is super light, super beautiful. So um, I'm gonna go and see how they're getting on. Hopefully we've got another hour left of lighting. Fingers crossed, two more dresses. We are just doing the last of the shoots. I thought I would quickly show you some of the bedrooms here because they are so stunning. This one is probably probably my favorite. It's very wide floorboards, quite Parisian. We've got this big Kate Moss picture up on the wall. Love this little armoire. Total house goals for me. Um, and then full post bed, lovely little sofa area, humongous mirror. That mirror is amazing. And then this beautiful bathroom. So pretty. Um, and then I'm going to show you the kind of bridal suite slash room where if you to get married here, could be your getting ready room, I'll show you that now. So this, I guess, would be the room where you can get ready with all your bridesmaids. There's an amazing big mirror here, great for doing your hair. Another fabulous bathroom in there. And then this is a huge bar. It's like a walk-in bar. How cool is that? Amazing. This is another bedroom with a huge walk-in wardrobe area, total house goals. I think someone's staying in here, so I'm not gonna pry in. I wake up at your place. It's a wrap at the photo shoot and Charlie and I are now making our way back home. A little bit quicker on the way back because someone put the wrong postcode in on the way there so we did add half an hour to our journey. I'm already editing the photos that we shot today. I just cannot sit still for more than an hour and not do anything productive. So I've been busy editing and the shots are looking gorgeous. Philippa's wedding dress designs just look absolutely stunning. In real life, they were something else, but on camera as well, they look absolutely gorgeous. It was a real honor to be able to see behind the scenes and look at these dresses up close. I can't say that I've ever really looked in detail at a wedding dress before. Like I've been um, wedding dress shopping with my friends and Sophie but obviously she was trying them on and I didn't want to be like inspecting them but this time I was looking up closely at all the detail she had embroidered silk georgette there were ostrich ostrich feathers just so many incredible details and I was speaking to Philippa during the shoots and she was saying that she's a real perfectionist and just loves all the details loves all the embroidery and the lacing and the beading so it's just fabulous to get to see it all up close a girl couldn't dream to own one of her wedding dresses but yeah it was a fabulous day out today we are about to cross the bridge south of the river and then we are nearly home